It is Severe Weather Awareness Week, and now is the time to prepare and learn how to stay safe before disaster strikes. Each day this week, we are looking at a different weather threat. Tonight's 7 First Alert meteorologist Marissa Wallison shows us how tornadoes are formed. Today we had our statewide tornado drill at 1 o'clock, and hopefully you found the safe place to go if a tornado was on the ground, a tornado warning were to be issued. But have you ever wondered how a tornado develops? Well, usually what goes on is that the winds at the surface tend to be a little bit lighter than the winds aloft. So this creates a rotating column of air and a thunderstorm updraft starts to turn that rotating column of air and eventually it becomes vertical. When you start to see that, you get the development of a wall cloud and unfortunately sometimes you can get the development of a tornado. Now, if it doesn't touch the ground, it's a funnel cloud. But once it does touch the ground and unfortunately does some damage and has all this flying debris, that means that there's a tornado on the ground and you need to seek shelter. Now, these are the uh, perfect scenario tornado developments. Sometimes, though, we do get those quick spin ups like unfortunately we did have last year, too. So anytime there's severe weather, just make sure that you have a safe place to go. The basement is best. If not, though, the most interior room of your house.